In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between wordplay.ai, autoblogging.ai, and articleforge. All three of these tools are article generators in which you can use to generate full-length articles in just a couple of clicks. Let's go ahead and compare the pricing, the different templates that are included in these tools, the features that are also included, and the quality of content that we can expect when generating full-length articles or blog posts. And lastly, I'll be comparing how easy or beginner-friendly each one of these tools are. Let's get started by taking a look at the price differences between these three article generators. At the time of recording this video, you can still get a lifetime deal from Wordplay, but it's just not available on AppSumo. You have to get it from their own website. But the lifetime deal starts at $99 per month and gives you 7,500 words. If you wanted to upgrade uh, for $200, you can get 15,000 words each month. And for $400 one-time payment, you can get 30,000 words each month. And the largest um, option here is the $1,000 one-time payment, and that will give you 100,000 words each month. And for Article Forge, there is no lifetime deal. You would have to pay monthly. The basic plan starts at $27 per month, and this gives you 25,000 words. You can get the standard, which includes 250,000 words for $57, and the unlimited plan is $117 per month. And for autoblogging.ai, you can get a free plan from AppSumo. So the free plan will give you, I believe, five credits. So you can generate up to five um, articles each month. But you probably would need to get some more credits, especially if you're generating a lot of content. So you probably would need to upgrade and get a monthly plan because there's no lifetime deal in which you can stack and get more credits. So the monthly plan starts at $19 per month for 20 articles, or you can do $50 per month for 60 articles, or $100 for $150. And the largest plan here is for agencies, which would be $250. And this gives you unlimited um, article generations each month. Just before we continue this review, I want to let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10 K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you want to go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. So it's difficult to say which one of these tools outright has a better pricing structure than the other because they're all a little bit different. On one hand, we have Wordplay, which has a lifetime deal, so you pay one time and you get um, those words per month. And autoblogging.ai doesn't really do it by words. They um, Their packages are priced by the amount of articles in which you can generate. And obviously the number of um, words that are gonna be in those articles will sort of vary. But overall, I'm leaning more towards autoblogging.ai in terms of pricing. The reason why I really like it is because you're able to get five free credits. So you can really try out and use the AI um, without any limitations. And if you like the content which you're getting back, then you can always go ahead and upgrade to a monthly plan. My second favorite pricing structure would be Wordplay. I like that it's a lifetime deal. So you just have to pay one time and you'll get those words included each month because even if you have to pay a little bit more upfront, at least you're not paying monthly. In terms of pricing, I'd go with autoblogging.ai as having the best overall pricing structure, then Wordplay followed by Article Forge. Also, if you wanna try any of these tools for yourself, I'll leave a link for all of the mentioned tools in the description below this video. As we all know, pricing isn't always the most important factor when determining which tool to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features, take a look at the templates, and most importantly, take a look at the quality of output in which you're getting back from these three AI copywriters. For the most part, all three of these tools are very similar. They allow you to generate full length articles by using their built-in templates. For instance, on Wordplay, you have a couple different templates in which you can choose from to generate a full length blog post. You have the bulk mode, which allows you to generate multiple articles in bulk. You also have the outline mode and the outline mode will allow you to sort of direct the AI um, in terms of the content in which you want to get back. So you would input your title and also you'd be able to input some subsections in which you would like to include for that specific blog post. And you also have the title mode, which is the easiest way to generate a full length article. All you have to do is enter the title of that article and click submit and you'll get a full article um, from Wordplay. And if I head over to autoblogging.ai, this is the dashboard. And these are the templates in which you can use to generate a full length article. So you have the quick mode. So the quick mode, again, is the easiest way to generate articles. All you have to do is enter your blog post topic and you'll be able to generate an article. But you also have the pro mode. Now, the pro mode allows you to direct the blog post in a more intentional way compared to the quick mode. So you can go ahead and enter the blog post title, but you can also enter different subheadings, different keywords for those specific subheadings um, for your blog posts. So you're really able to construct an outline in this template, and then the AI will follow that outline and give you output based upon your article title and your article subheadings. 
and you also have a bulk generate article template. So all you have to do is enter different article titles which you have, and the AI will generate all of those separate article titles at once. Now, if I head over to Article Forge, it's a little bit different, but again, the concept is the same here as well. So essentially, if you wanted to go ahead and generate a full length article, you wanna enter your keyword, choose your language, but you get a little bit more customization on Article Forge. So you can choose the length in which you would like to have for that specific article. It allows you to add your H2s and your H3 tags so that you're pretty much building an outline and then this AI will fill that outline. But for you to activate the section headings, you need to increase the amount of words. And then there you go, you can go ahead and add your section headings. You can also auto-generate section headings as well. And then you also can customize your article style. So you can add an image, you can add a video, you can replace the keywords with links. You can post it to your WordPress blog. You can also add rewriting, which is powered by Word AI, but you would need to have a separate account of Word AI for this to work. So in terms of templates, there's really no templates or any unique templates that are included in any of these um, article generators that really separates them from each other. So for the most part, they're pretty similar. So I'll give them all a four out of five for templates. In terms of features, again, not really too many features that really separate them from one another but I would give Article Forge a four out of five because as we went over earlier, you do have a couple more features and customizations in which you can do on Article Forge compared to Wordplay and Autoblogging.ai. Now let's go ahead and test the quality and quantity of content which we get back when using these three tools. To make it fair, I'll be using the most simple template which would be the title mode. So I'll just give the AI an article and see what sort of content we get back from each one of these tools. For this example, we'll be generating an article about what are the best steps that you need to take if you are buying a home for the first time. Leave the language to English, just go ahead and put a project name here, and I'm going to submit this on Wordplay. And I'm gonna head back over to autoblogging.ai and we're gonna do the same thing here. So again, we'll be using the quick mode and they just released a quick mode 2.0. Let's go ahead and click that and see if it makes a difference. Um, but again, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and paste in um, the same title that we used on WordPlay, go ahead and click generate. And I'm gonna do the same thing on Article Forge. So I'm gonna enter the main keyword. I'll change the length to long, so over 750 words. We're gonna add titles, we're gonna add section headings, we're gonna auto-generate section headings, okay? And for this example, I'll just go ahead and add an image because we don't really need a video. We don't really need to replace any keywords or post this to my WordPress blog. Okay, so I went ahead and created a new article. And as we can see, that article is being generated by Article Forge. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the time and how long it takes um, for each one of these tools to generate a full length article. Okay, so all of the articles have been loaded up. Article Forge definitely took the longest. Um, I think WordPlay was probably the quickest and then followed by autoblogging.ai, but both of autoblogging.ai and WordPlay were very quick, um, but there was a difference in speed um, when compared to Article 4, which is definitely keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual article. So this is the article in which we got back from wordplay.ai. So what are the best steps you need to take if you are buying a home for the first time? What is the first step? Figure out what you're looking for and where you wanna live, research the market, set a, set a budget, talk to your agent, consider other homes in the market and a conclusion. Okay, not bad by any means, but again, a little bit short and kind of, um, I would say not really too in-depth, I'm um, just looking at the um, overview of this blog post here, but let's go ahead and see how much words are in this post. So less than 1000 words. So a little bit short for my liking. And um, I would like to have a blog post that's a little bit more in depth because again, the reason why you're using these tools is so that you don't have to write too much. So with an article like this, you definitely have to buff it up a lot more if you wanna post it on your website. Okay, next let's go ahead and take a look at the article in which we got back from autoblogging.ai. So again, buying a home for the first time, research the area in which you would like to live in, okay? Um, get pre-approved for a mortgage, okay? Find a real estate agent, start looking at homes, make an offer, get a home inspection, close on the home, okay? You get a lot more information here. Um, and it even goes into more details about closing on a home, so how to get a loan pre-approval, how to choose a real estate agent, how to make an offer. Okay, so it seems as though we get a lot more information here. So let's go ahead and see here how many words were in this generation, which we got back from Autoblogging. Okay, so about 1300 words here that we got back from Autoblogging.ai. So not bad by any means. Um, I would definitely wanna go ahead and read through the actual content just to make sure that everything makes sense, but it seems to be a very relevant and uh, pretty high quality 
blog post that we got back here. And lastly, let's take a look at the article in which we got back from Article of Forge. So what are the steps that you need to take before buying a home? There are many steps in which you need to take before you buy a house, da da da, getting pre-approved for a mortgage, getting a home inspection, getting a home owner's insurance policy, setting a realistic budget, okay, finding a home that fits your financial criteria, okay, educating yourself before buying a home, okay. This is also a pretty decent blog post, I would say. Um, definitely better than Wordplay, in my opinion. I think Wordplay probably gave us the least um, desirable outcome for this specific example. But again, keep in mind, this is just one example. You would definitely want to go ahead and try this out for your own specific niche. But um, I also do like that we got an image here from Article Forge. But let's go ahead and see how many words are in this article. Okay, so a little bit less than 1000. And that's probably because I set it to that limit. If I had to choose between these three separate articles, I would probably lean towards the autoblogging.ai article. I like that it was a little bit longer and it seems to be a little bit more in depth, um, kind of goes into a lot of different things in which you need to sort of figure out if you're trying to buy a home. Um, but I also really like what we got back from Article Forge as well. So definitely between those two, um, wordplay for this example was kind of lacking. But again, I highly recommend that you go out and you try these tools for yourself because you may get better content generation just depending on the niche in which you're in. In terms of quality and quantity, I'd give Wordplay a score of 3.5 out of 5, and I would give autoblogging.ai and Article Forge a score of 4 out of 5. Recently, I've been using autoblogging.ai a lot, and I really, really like the output, the quantity, and the quality of the output in which we're getting. So I am leaning more towards autoblogging.ai, but they are a fairly new AI copywriter within the space, so I'm still testing it out, and I don't want to say that I'm right out that they're better than Wordplay or Article Forge, but I'll definitely be testing it a lot more and not keeping you guys updated. But in terms of quality and quantity, I would go with autoblogging and Article Forge over Wordplay. Overall, I'd give Wordplay a score of 20 out of 25, Article Forge a score of 21 out of 25, and autoblogging.ai a score of 21.5 out of 25. The reason why I gave autoblogging.ai a 0.5 higher is because, as I mentioned earlier, I've been using them a lot lately and the type of quantity and quality in which I'm getting back has really been impressive with this tool compared to any other article generation tools in which I've used. And I also really like that they have a free plan on AppSumo. If you want to go ahead and try any of these tools out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you're able to find the best article generation tool for you and your business. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.